5.45 in the morning. If you can get them for like here, I can grab them and put them up. Oh go. yeah. That's a nice handhold. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, bud. What, got crushed by a tree? It was like a two-person tent. It was like under a tree, like crushed by it. Because of a giant windstorm last night. Yeah, slept here, yeah, yeah giant. Won the, won the tree lottery, didn't get hit, but yeah. somebody did. Yeah. So, uh, cashing in some good luck last night, I guess. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to another Big Guy Backpacking Adventure. Today, we're taking a look at the Whiteface and Pasa Conway Loop up here in the White Mountain National Forest in New Hampshire. We're planning a one night overnight, going up Whiteface today, setting up camp at Camp Rich, slack packing Pasa Conway, sleeping the night, and then heading out tomorrow morning. In this video, we will document the trail conditions themselves, some of the more technical bits that you've probably read about online, as well as a few good lookouts, where we're planning on camping, and hopefully a few fun stories along the way. So. With that, let's get the video going. I got your thing. Thank you. Go, no. Last couple of videos, I haven't really been going over the gear too much. I figured there's already plenty of videos about that on YouTube. But if you're interested in me doing that more often in these videos, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Or if you're just like the way they are now, let me know too. Grass is always greener. Now this Whiteface and Pasa Conway being a loop trail, we started off at the parking lot and made our way up Whiteface first, which is a clockwise direction. Ooh. What's up? Yeah, that stumble on camera. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was pre-planned. It's pre yeah. That was a choreographed stage where we were doing that. It was on the itinerary if you checked it. Yeah. I, like many of you, have read that Whiteface has some fairly steep and technical parts, and today we do have a dog with us, so it'll be interesting to see how all of that goes. We've had a nice snack break. A nice snack break, yeah. For the, for the ascent. Yeah. Show, show, the, show the good people what we're about to do, Mike. It's straight up the fucking mountain. In the early going of the trail, though, we found it to be less challenging and less Ready? steep than we had expected. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yep. Yeah. You didn't say no. He could have said no. It's actually easier. Though, as we got to further elevations up Whiteface, uh, its reputation started to come forward. Thighs. <laughs> the title of the video is Buns and Thighs. <laughs> Buns and Thighs. Here at White Face. Yeah. Let's go both of those. Let's do water. Buns and Thighs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Figured while we look our prettiest, we'll give you an update. It's what, 10 30 ish? 10 30. about right, Mike. Been on the trail a little over two hours. Found parking, which is great. 
the first part of the trail is deceiving us because this is supposed to be hard and straight uphill and the first part wasn't so wasn't quite sure if we were on the right trail turns out we were and uh we found the steepness oh we're, we're on the mountain now we're on the mountain now we're down with the steepness right now <laughs> Down with the steepness. <laughs> we're down to the steep. Down with the steepness is competing with buns and thighs. Our title of the video. <laughs> number eight. Hi, are you being a good boy? The ladies are here. Yeah, you being the goodest boy? Yeah, you are. Good boy, Booster. How are we feeling? Good as hell. Oh, That's a lie. I'm feeling like I'm here. Stairmaster. master. I gotta do cardio again. I stopped doing that. I can go? Alright. It's the lazy trail. Oh, you're right. Good. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but the little field down there with the sparkly bits in it is uh where the car is. Whoa. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, I should have videoed that. Oh, I, I, I got. You got some. Good boy, buddy. I love you. All right, me next. I'm, I'm gonna go with the ramp. Overall, I'd consider this hike hard and Maybe. somewhat technical. But if you're used to hiking in the White Mountains, it shouldn't be too much worse than anything else you've seen. I'm gonna let one of you get up there first, so that I need to hand my dog to you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. No problem. Fat check. Fat check, you, you said? Yeah, you must be just skinning to fit through these rocks. <laughs> no, it's no, coming up. That. If you can get them to like here, I can grab them and put them up. I'm just trying to see pictures of both. Boo, come on. You're okay, buddy. Oh, can come you on. throw me his leash? You got it, bud. Oh, <laughs> I'm leaning on it. <laughs> he's like, what the? All right, he's coming. He's coming. Come here, bud. Oh, Hold on. Just no, go left. No, no, no. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. Can you try to throw me his leash again one more time? Nice catch. Good boy, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, Mike, that'd be good. There you go, sure. Eric. Good thing we didn't bring a meatball. He's not very good at up yet. <laughs> All right, your turn. Maybe I live down here now. Say oh it. yeah. That's a nice handhold. <laughs> That's a thanks Mother That's Nature. Handhold. That is quality. At some of Mount Whiteface, there's a great spot to have lunch or just stop for a view if you're interested. On this day, it was super windy and sunny, which made for a nice ambiance in the early fall. Excellent. No trash, everybody's got everything, uh, poles, phones, Who's wallets, keys. No? I'm not coming no? back here. Fanny packs. Round pass an aqua. I did bring gloves. I did not. So I didn't bring pants. Oh, oh no. 
<laughs> you can borrow my rumple if you need. No. <laughs> the rumple for booster. Now, if I hang out at a camp, I'm just in my sleeping bag in the <laughs> yeah. hammock. Um, I was packing at the hotel yesterday. I brought all my gear and I was redoing things. My sister was sitting there and I was putting the, my spikes in just in Yeah. Me. And I was like, I'm not going to bring the gloves. And she's like, hold on. <laughs> you bring the spikes without the gloves? The spikes, but you're not going to bring the gloves? She's like, wouldn't you think that if you need the spikes, you would also need the gloves? And I was like, huh. Oh. Yeah. It's a fair point. <laughs> When you so put it that way. Hi, baby. Careful, careful, careful. Ah! I feel like you're just going to have a lot of videos of Booster doing like baller things and me squealing, squealing in the background. It is currently about 2.30 in the afternoon. Taking a little breather on the trail, so I figured I'd give an update for where we're at. We made it up and mostly back down Whiteface, which was, as you saw, fairly technical. Uh, ate a really nice lunch near the summit with views of Lake Winnipesaukee, and now we're on our way to Camp Rich. The camp, from what I understand, is a decommissioned official campsite that everybody still stays at, so hopefully it's going to be good. We're going to get there probably around 3 o'clock. The plan was to summit past the Conway today, uh, slack packing, but given the time and the time of year, I'm not really sure that we're going to be able to make it up and down in the light, and I don't really want to do it in the dark. So we're going to make it a call whether we get up early and summit in the morning, or just come back and do another great hike to tag past Conway. Anyway, we'll see you in a sec. I tried to grab it as it went by. It's a good toss. Yeah, it looks like Are you gonna film me now, Mike? I already filmed you. Yeah, you stuck it on that branch, though. It's looped through. You gotta pull hard. Just pull hard. Harder. Harder. Oh, yeah, harder. <laughs> Made to camp, set everything up, had dinner, decided not to go up past the Conway this evening. We're gonna get up at the ass crack of dawn or before that in the morning, hike it for sunrise, eat breakfast, and then get the heck off the mountain. Anyway, here's where we're sleeping tonight. Three hammocks over here. One, two, and three back there. And a couple tents. Should be good. We'll see you in the morning. Currently 5.45 in the morning. Everybody's out of their tents. We're gonna go hike up past the Conway and then come back, break down the camp and go to the car. How'd you sleep? Yeah, your apartment's gonna be kind of filled up with stuff for the next 48 yeah. hours. I set up a ridge light in my apartment. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Do you have the hammock uh, clamps? Does it have your hammock? I never, no. I own them, I've never set them up. When I, when I have a house, I definitely will. I don't know, I think Eric's got two very good white hammocks. I agree. <laughs> I also agree. Thank you. 
this? No, they're all no. Like this. Okay. They're to varying degrees of shit. Yeah. The only thing that like when you say white mountain hike to me is like when you're on the Pemi and like yeah. you're in the alpine zone and doing this. Yeah. So it's like we're... the alpine zone feels. Yeah. It's really cool because like you can stick your head under the water and like get a great view. The trees are the oh, tall. Dig those nails in, good boy. Okay. I'm, I'm excited for a hot oatmeal. Um, I only got the berry and the peach, like one of each, mm -hmm. I think, because I wanted to try it before mm -hmm. I committed. It sounded like I it would be gross. I'm sold. I'm in. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> this, uh, Is that the that's the summit, those Karens right there. <laughs> Found it. Perception is reality. This is the summit. Come on, Eric. Second one. Yay. Well, I'm so proud of you. Really? Ugh. What? It's underwhelming. Overall, Camp Ridge was a little less built up than I was expecting, but certainly a solid place to camp if you have a hammock or a tent. There were other sites around that general area as well where more people were camping, and you could easily have 12 to 15 people there without any issues of crowding. Can I check camp? No. Somebody, did somebody do, did somebody a, do a visual check on camp real quick? We'll wait for you. We'll just make sure. I checked my area as well. I say is no. Booster no. Or stop. Booster stop. Sometimes it's go. Okay, so it's no go stop. <laughs> No, she says it's Booster Go because he's named after the launch sequence in a Good. 13. Yep. And it's a go, no, go for launch. So it goes Booster, go. Retro. Get off mountain. Overall, this was a challenging yet doable hike. You could certainly do it in one day, but why would you want to limit your time in the woods? I can't. I needed one. Bye, camp. Bye, camp. Thank you for being here. As far as difficulty climbing, there are a few sections up Whiteface and the last bit of Paso Conway that could be slightly difficult, though we were managed to do it with the five of us and a small dog without many problems.